That's all I have for now. I need your eyes, my friend. I smelt you under wind. Gunnar, with the speed you left home, I thought you'd been carried off by Valkyries. I have. This Valkyrie right here, Bridget, my own heart's root. Meet Aver. It takes a rare woman to nail down our Gunnar. Lavendin da, with my Zigwili. Uh, good to meet you as well. How did you find a woman in these backwoods? She came through the settlement selling runes, outshone every stone in her satchel. She offered me a trade, a rune for a brooch I was making. I got a better deal. But she loves the ugly little thing. Have you uh, a family, Britain? If mom and dad cut it even gilder than I couldn't help Drews me. Breaks of man power, the last high priestess and elderman. They since passed on. But the current elderman looks out for her. I should like to meet this elderman of yours, if our kinfolk are to be joined. A union forged in love. Come, we go find him. Oh, and don't blame me if he's heard a tale or two about you. What about it, Bridge? Tim Jolch, you two bags of air, see how Gumpas Right, no daylight to waste then, huh? So the elder man may have heard a tale or two about my exploits. Not all from me. Your name will be on the lips of every skull for years to come. Hmm. And the Mercians here are not unsettled by lurking Viking yet? They come from all over. Samhain? Is that what these carved roots are for? This tradition? Aye. Faces cut into lanterns to ward off evil spirits and guide children home. They have a haunted look about them. Let us bring a few back. The elder man, Kunan. A good leader, seeing to his people's needs. Let us join hands when his task is done. Yeah, then let's introduce you to Tevdur. Hands as clammy as a dead haddock, but his heart is in the right place, and he'll be elderman after Kunan. Tevdur. This is Eivor, my chieftain. Ah, yes. The way Gunnar speaks, I expected, uh... Me to ride in on a winged horse, cure the sick, the blind. His compliments are as blunt as his hammer. Ah, more pagans crowding our table. Just lovely. Well, what brings you here? Have I wronged you? I'm here only for the wedding. Where I come from, we do not poison the well of friendship so swiftly. And what has Dane friendship done for Christian Mercia? Unseated god right kings for puppet rulers? So-called puppet kings keep your lands safe and your bellies full. I ask no thanks. Only hospitality. Apples! Eivor, 
wait until you try the cider. You you like cider, eh? Tevder? Cider? Ah, you must be Eivor. Tevder, I see you've welcomed our honored guest. Come just in time for my last sowing. At your behest. We welcome all pagans set upon God's own Gloucester. Tevder, as your harvest king, I demand that you remove the turnip from your arse and be merry. So you've come to meet the family before you whisk my Bridget away to her life as a smithy's bride. We're honored to have her join the Raven Clan, but your lush landscape will be hard to match. I must give away girl and land in this misty season, but Gunnar is a good man, and he speaks tirelessly of you. If you will excuse me, I have matters to attend to. Ah, yes, the shrine. And with so many thieves and fangs on the path, a fellow may fall in God's service. Kunon, I do not need a heathen escort. Youth cut down in its prime, without even the memory of warm thighs and cider to sustain him in the afterlife. Then, by my honor, I shall not rest until I return him to you safely. Aye, Tefter? I see I am outmatched. Though a Dane joining in praise to Saint Kenhelm, God will weep. My lady love calls, Eivor. Oh, if you'd like to join us later, we're going hoodening this eve. Go, may you have a fire-forged friendship. Watch for fairies, fenfolk, and fiends. I have a hand fastening to oversee, an apprenticeship to officiate, and a pig to slaughter. <clears throat> well, shall we then? humors these pagans too much. It is the first thing gone when I am Elderman. Fires and magic. Spirits in the air. Gloucestershire has strayed from God's light. People need carousing, especially before the winter frost. The festival brings warmth and cheer. God's light does not dim as the nights chill, but the winters are hard upon the children. Seeing them run around, it lightens the heart. Are there priests in your lands? I've met a few, liked even fewer. The profane has gone unchallenged here. I alone am the reformation. They are a flock in need of my shepherding. And how will you lead this great renewal? They will fill the church's pews and we will thank him for all the gifts he brings. Not false idols of wood and clay. And yet, are we not going to pray at the idol of another? Is this Saint Kenelm your god? No, and we do not call him such. He is simply closer to the Lord's ear. Low in a mead of kine under a thorn, lieth poor Kenhelm, Kingborn. Is this land not beautiful, Eivor? Aye. Look, the path is untouched by danger, so your company is not needed. You are a kinder man than the mask you wear. But you won't be rid of me. I will keep my word to Kunan for your safe return. I don't understand this Christian praying. I thank Odin while standing. Why get your knees dirty? To humble ourselves before God. Besides, I've dirtied my knees doing worse. That sounds like a tale I'd like to lend my ear to. Please, Eivor, I must pray. Should I watch or turn my back? Oh, Lord, gift upon this lowly servant your greatest gift. Patience. I will not have to interrupt your prayer to protect you, Tefter. And yet you insist on doing so. What is it you are looking at? A hair? Tefter, get to safety. Find somewhere to hide. Where did they come from? <laughs> Eivor, thank you for saving my life. It's good I was here to protect you. 
Maybe Kunan has the eyes of prophecy. Explode. Cloven hoofed and sent by Lucifer himself. This land must be returned to God's grace. More likely the shrines in their territory. Lord, we thank thee for your protection. It's not safe here. Give me my moment's prayer, Eivor. I ask only this. We should return to Gloucester. Unless you'd like to thank the little martyr here for tonight's feast. I'm not a babe in the woods in need of constant guard. Go on without me. I gave Kunan... Yes, yes, your word. And when I see him, I will say you protected me from being skewered upon those devil's tusks. Oh, and Eivor, I owe you a drink at least. Later, if you'd have one. Find me at the drink. Mm -hmm. What adventures did you find in my absence? Escorted Tefter to the shrine of some Christian saint. Our path was not peaceful. We were casted by a group of boars. Odd, but path and I usually serve. To the Brevo. But you saved his hide. I bet it was quite the sight. Two of you as a pair. I kept my word to Kunin, and that spat cuck Tefter lives. Restraint, Eivor? I was half expecting you to wallop the lad around the head and ass. I've bridged hands with most of England, Gunnar. And I've held my temper around worse than Tefter. I need a drink. Try the cider. It's from last year's apple harvest. Skull. Skull. So, you invited me to a hoodening. What mischief is this? Nigwiskal Anvil is spread down in creatures of the Vale. The bag for treats. Glowachester gives their glut to otherworldly visitors, and if you dress as one, you'll get that bounty yourself. Freely given? Huh. I have only seen such a thing done at feasts. Then we turn you into a beastie and have you roam the hills, praying for sweets and drink. It's hardly a disguise. Just a cloak and some bones. Nonsense. You are the very spirit of the Mary Louvre. Now, let's hooden. Become the Mary Louvre. The spirit who sings for cake and ale. Go. Trick or treat! What business have you? Uh. The Mary Louie. Right, right. We're doing cakes instead of beer this year. Sowing night and the moon is high. Mary Louie haunts my door. The air is chilling and ghosts are spilling all across the misty moor. Oh, ghosts and beasties. Dear spirit, take your reward. Are you playing the role of trickster spirit? Can tricks the spirits see? The eye holes in this mask are terrible. All it takes is a mask and some sweet game to turn you into a gentle skull. I am not going to sing, Gunnar. Hear a thought. Are you ready to rhyme with me? Down the road, from my abode, there is an open veil. I've been here knocking and the walking. Now give me cake and ale. Brilliant, that is. Ah, uh, lads getting into their cups. Good. Oh, thank the gods. We've been waiting for children all night to empty our stores so we can go to the party. Have some extra. <laughs> Look at these cakes! Sweet as honey, Gunnar. 
You should see this. Gonna. My thanks. Show me. You are either fearless or stupid boy to speak to someone of the Raven Clan this way. Fitting name for scavengers. Winged rats taking what isn't yours. I'll pick out your eyes and feed them to your god. Gunnar, we are guests here. Let him go. We can hood him more. You seem to want your nose broken, so let me oblige. Christ and Tor. God damn you! It's you lot we should be burning alive! Are you sure you don't want to stay in Gloucester? They know how to have fun. Four spears! My leg! of the river. There's children about. I don't answer to you, witch. Thomas Fletcher, I brought you into this world, wiped your mother's birth blood from your face. Mind your tongue. Let's see that leg, then. It's nothing. Careful with the old man. He's had many winters worth of wounds. Tilukas. Montron's a compass to patch this land. Your aid is welcome. Men drown themselves in ale on Samhain. But I fear for the fragile peace when Tevder becomes elder men. If Dina fall, regardless of who self poor. That man called you a witch. I lead those who follow the old ways in Gloucestershire. But I offer my healing services on both sides of the river. Gwenny, my love, go back to the house and bring me the garlic salt. And the worms? Are we cleaning or cutting, mother? Yes, grab the worms just to be safe. Now go, child. I promise not to cut it off before your return. I'll give me strength. But my modern is known I'm a humor to run. I'm glad you're all finding my mortal injury so funny. Go away. Make Marion try to loosen Tevter's shoulders. Madron, you don't have to save his leg. I will understand. That limb will be fine. But no medicine in England will stop the dribble from his mouth. I do not work miracles. Sweet friends, that is a fine way to end the day. Eivor, there you are. Tefter. You're well met. Gwilim here has challenged my honor in a contest of drinks. Join us. The lab will be easy pickings. Give me a cup. Some ale, then. One for me as well. For shaveling of the Christ Lord, you have a lot of scars, Gwilym. 
Not every tonsured man is a wet ear, Dabby babe. I came to God after I had scarred my soul with sin. To holy hearths and humid eyes, it is the best drunkenness returns a man to royal reason. Skull. Chester is at stake. I will not leave these lands to one who laps at ale like a cat. Got some on your boots. You are a bit green, friend. Head of ale faster. So slow. Come on, lad. Show the ding your metal. <laughs> Be kissing a flagstone soon. feeds my soul. Here, another drink on me, for allies new and old. Of all the Eldermen I've met, you're the most unburdened. What is your secret? None. It is well known. The burdens I carry will soon leave this world with me. So drink to my life and death. Death? I am to be sacrificed in the Wicker Man as King of the Harvest. Like Elderman Simkin before me, and all before him. Horrible barbaric practice. A burnt offering after poor crops. They hope well-fed gods will smile upon them. Your people are loyal to you, Kunan. Seems a waste to throw your life away. Their loyalty would falter if I shirked my duties. I will die glorious in flame, not live to further choke my homeland. A toast, then. To Elderman Kunin, joyous and generous. Let each man show him loyalty until he suffers death. My friends, you are kind to me. I'd like to toast my successor, Tevder. May he wear the horns head high. this? Water? I feel like Thor chugging oceans. No effect to my head or step. <laughs> you heard the man. Give him something stronger. <laughs> this will work faster than any tonic. Good. Give me visions of all creatures that roam these hills, and the sore head tomorrow to pay for it. Wow, that tastes awful. It feels good, though. Eivos, speak true. My feelings be damned. I have been an ass. Do not deny it. And I, for that, I am sorry. A colossal horse's ass. Yes. Soft words from a heartless heathen. Only fiercer than fire among ill friends. I can be very as nice as a spring gale. <laughs> and how nice is that? Tefta, with Gunnar and Bridget's marriage, our clans will unite. But we could join by oath as well. Oh, yes. My first ally as Elderman. I accept. We shall make an oath. 
How do we start? Yeah, the greatest, greatest oath, and the greatest union. To the oath! The treaty! The greatest! <laughs> People are sleeping. More ale to seal our friendship? <laughs> this way, this way. Look out for the black sow. Sow? Like pig? Flaming pig. Chases you home at night. <clears throat> silly words to scare silly children. Puh. You see magic as the stuff of children's dreams. Perhaps... I judge too much. Truths I half believe. Foolishness sometimes takes my tongue. I have to piss. Uh, a great blackness chases stars across the sky in great whirls of color and light. Whoosh! Here we are. Right inside here. Tefter! Tefter! Hefter! Where are you? Hell's breath. What happened last night? Ah, and the effects of that draft still cling. After, are you here? There he is! What is the meaning of this? Blood soaking our soil, and your weapon coated in the same. Kunan, please. More has happened here than you can see. Give me a right to parley my innocence. I should have heeded Tevder's misgivings about heathen party guests, and now he has paid with his life. With Tevder gone, Glowichester will be without an elderman. Eye for an eye, your Raven clan will lose their chieftain. Get the murderer! <laughs> He was the heavy thing being dragged. The spot has been broken and it's covered in blood. 
A weapon, maybe. Tefta's bodyguard. Killed by knife. Muddy footprints. Someone was hiding back here. Willem's pouch. I wonder if it still has his little something stronger. But why is it here? Better hold on to it. So, what does this lead to? The murderers hid here, lying in wait while we approached outside. They jumped from the shadows to kill the bodyguards. And to disable Tefta. Then they dragged him away. That accounts for everything. Except Gwilym's pouch of herbs. I'm still unbalanced by Gwilym's special something. Maybe Mother Modron will know the contents. Can I tempt you with? This could come in very handy. I can always use more of that. Hello again. Mother, it's the friend of the mangled leg man. Eivor, you remember? Indeed. It's a surprise to see you. Is everything quite all right? No, it's not. I awoke in Tefter's wrecked home. Blood, but no body. Kunan's men are after me for the lad's murder. Uh-oh. Did you stab him? Mother, can I see? Blood, but no body? We must see what has happened to him. Do you recognize the contents of this pouch? A very unusual blend. There is a druid who uses this mix to aid sleep. A monk called Gwillem poured some of it into my drink last night. The effects were intense. Search the houses! Can't have gotten far! They're coming for you. If they know I've aided you, it'll be my head next. Can you... I've seen nothing and no one. Mother, if the stranger wants more of the herbs, they can talk to the druid Halewyn. Yes. Halewyn's cabin is on a lake near where the Cherwell and Great Ouse rivers meet. But he is a strange fish. Rarely does he speak to mortals, preferring the company of spirits. Now, I've business at Rollandrich. Find me there later.
Vengeance is ours! Must be the home of the druid. The fellow's land is peopled by men of straw. Just as Mortern said, maybe I should disguise myself. Spirit, you have finally come. Days ago, a passing cloud foretold your arrival with droplets of sun-scented rain. But what form of being are you beneath this guise of horse and bone? From the realm of the Fey? I know you cannot say. I, I press no more. Whatever you be, now you are here, the ritual may begin. Oh, but the men of straw must announce you with sparks. Ignite the sky to begin anew, here at the death of the season. Until then, I await you, giving thanks in the glen. Ah, a wickerman speaks. Now let the... Aelwyn said that the wickerman must announce me with fire. Perhaps I should set them ablaze. Yes, another joins the throng. Another. Let there be cacophony. One more, one more. They roar. Do you hear them? A chorus of fire. That should be the last one. Speak to me, O oh wind. I have come to ask you a single question. Something about your demeanor and your physical manifestation now gives me pause. Are you truly a spirit of light? I am a spirit as any other. Then prove it. You must know the depths of the world's mysteries before I will help you. Tell me the proper use of charms. Very well. Ask your riddles. Man and woman are made of earth, of water, and wind. Which charm clods the earth, dries the water, and stills the wind? Give me a measure of time. Are you a spirit of darkness? If it be not so, come back and try anew. What are these things he's asking me? There must be trinkets around his house that will help. That should be the last one. Back to the druid. The stagger is placed upside down. A hangman's noose. A knife. And the vile smells of poison. Three ways to kill someone. Their mouths are open, like they've been screaming secrets.
Two ladles carved from a single branch. The grooves match. This symbol is one I've seen carved into shields and headstones. speak to Eivor, but perhaps you will speak to the spirit of the Mary Luhid. Speak to me, O oh wind! Have you found yourself? Man and woman are... Threefold death stops life's wind, returns a body to earth, and renders water into poison. Threefold death is the charm. Which is the charm that weds souls? The charm of the double spoon. Yes. Such that a wedded pair can sup broth together. Which charm is it that gives speech to the dead? The skull soul's charm summons voices from death's realm. In such fashion I speak to druids long dead. But of course you, a spirit, would know that. You are a spirit of light. Mabon be praised. Would you like some bread and cream? No, just the answer to your question. This herb pouch made its way to Gloucester in the hands of a strange man. Do you know it? Aye. A mix to help him sleep, I filled this very pouch. And over a dandelion wine, he spoke fondly of his home, Kuthlodron. Kuthlodron? <clears throat> very well. I thank you, Halwyn, but this spirit has others to visit this harvest moon. Go with the wind and leaves. Strange name. Meanwhile, Motron awaits me at the stones near. Meanwhile, Motrin awaits me at the stones nearby. Show me what lies ahead.
fancy modern hat. How far has the search for me stretched? Far enough to say it's best you stick to the countryside and wear that disguise. But Tefter's body has not been found as yet. That night was full of drink and merriment. I do not remember much, but I had no quarrel with Tefter. A sorry tale. Did you learn anything from Halewin? He gave some herbs to a man from Kuth Lodren, name of Gwilim, who was drinking with Tefter and myself. Kuth Lodren is the Welsh name for the thieves Warren. It's atop a hill west of here. I can lead you. I owe you a great deal for all your aid. You do not have to trust me. Tevder's fate is to my interest as well. This is a troubling development that I hope to get to the bottom of. I would like to look at these sacred stones before we depart. The old gods whisper in these stones. I've had my fill of their secrets. Welcome, fair traveler. Curious child of his. I am Brendan of Ireland, and through light and voice have these stones spoken to me. Here lies the markings of him, where a second voice, higher than most, spoke to me again. Listen to all I have learned through prayer. Long ago was a great and tragic war. The offspring of gods who lived before the deluge. I pray for these rebel angels who came before. Are you ready to depart? Let's make haste then. I must find Gwilim and regain my honor. This forest and all of Gloucestershire feels untamed. I feel as if I've ridden my horse through a door to another world. Aye, there is old magic here. Old magic that would be snuffed out by Tevder and his church. Tefta did speak of reformation. Do you think that's why he was targeted? There are many who would claw their way to the top. Tefta's disappearance could be the work of any. But you are a witch, open to wisdom from the gods. Have you seen anything? I see much smoke. Are there any rival Danes passing through who could have done it? If it were rival Danes, we would have heard their horns by now. We are not a humble sort. Blunt tongues and sharp axes. Kuth Ludrin, the Thieves Warren. This is where I leave you. You'll find somewhere safe. There's a shrine nearby. If you've need of me, then meet me there. Gods old and new go with you.
this area is off limits. Oh, shit. Oh, shit is right. Eivor, you're alive. Have mercy. I were under orders. Elderman Coonan, he gave us coin to dispose of Tepter. Then he should demand it back. Shit, Salesaunt, you are. Cannot kill a single man. You made a poor choice in scapegoat, Gwilym. And we thought that 
If we kept the lad alive, we could squeeze Kunan for more coin to keep it secret. Why would Kunan pay to have Tefter killed? He is to be his successor. We ain't ones for details. The less we know, the better, yeah? You chose to extort the man, but have no basis for the crime. You're imbeciles. Look, we wasn't gonna kill the lad. We've come to like having him around. Tell him, tell him we've taken care of you. Kunar did this? Why? I've done nothing to... Oh, gods, is he dead? Wake up, wake up. Tell the Dane I've hand-fed you like a baby sparrow. Ah, move, fool. Ah. Look, Eivor, we're mates, right? Uh, had drinks together? Remember the chickens? Speak again and I'll take your tongue. Tafter will need to see a healer. This lot have been smearing dung on his face. But I've been held for ransom by worse men. Thank you for your aid, then. And try not to get held for ransom a third time after you flee. Thank you, stranger. Thank you. It is much appreciated. Gagathos! Flaken! When I awoke in this demon lair, I feared the worst. Save your strength, Tefter. It's a long ride. Kunon. He ordered my death. Huh? I don't understand. He's been like a father. I will ask him myself. This is a loss of many gods. One face, many faces. We are all blessed to be alive. Grave has changed you, Tefter. Changed me. He's hot to the touch, and his mind fades in and out, but he lives. Perhaps a sickness of the blood. Shame, shame. He was captured by the men there? They claim to have been hired by Kunan. Kunan did this? I know not why, only that he gave them coin to dispose of Tefter. You can see how well they saw to that. They were alike once, the boy and Kunan. God-fearing Christians arguing the nature of life with me. But he softened. Men do great evil to cling on to power and save their skin. Perhaps he means to put Tevda to flame in his place. Does not the right demand the leader? If he made the lad's body elderman, then it would still be right to sacrifice. Then he's not safe until I've dealt with Kunan. Can you tend to his wounds? I am a very good healer. But if the gods want him to join them, I cannot stop their will. Eivor, what will you do with Kunan? I will reveal his sins. Let his people decide if he deserves an honorable death. The man tarnished your name and you would let him live? Shame for shame. Not even his guard will welcome him when I'm done. You are resolute then. Then may you ride as Rhiannon. 
Thank you, Modern. And please, take care of Tefter. I must get to Kunan before the festival's end. Bridget, it is good to see you. Eivor, what has become of Tevder? Did you find your scarf? Uh, thank you. I've found Tevder alive and safe. I need to speak to Kun. Bridget, I found an abandoned bird nest in the rafters. I'm going to take it home to Mother. If you gaddle it, then the Babans will do it and all, I lay it got... It's you again! The Sowen Butcher! The Sowen Butcher? Never mind. Gwyneth, I'm looking for Kunan. Have you seen him? He's busy with the festival and shooed me away to Bridget. Would you like to see some magic I've been practicing? Can you show me to Kunan if I say yes? Just one trick and then I can show you around. Um, okay. So reach into this pouch. And the number of stones you're holding is... three. Wonderful magic, Wen. But now I really need to find Kunan. Come on, let's go find him. There are the church ladies. They don't like the festival. But Mama says they come anyway to clock clock like. Please don't have to go for him. My priority speed depends on Rachib. There are the church. like hens. Do you want to see another trick? I can pull an acorn. Why is that woman wearing a striped mask? That's a badger. All the ladies Baby. in charge wear one. My eyes. I'm looking for Gloucester's elderman. <laughs> well, the one who still draws breath is in the church. How do I get in? You're not supposed to get in. No reason to enter that dump anyway. Fuck, you'd have to get me very drunk to show you inside. Sounds like some ale loose in this town. Have you seen Kunan? <laughs> He's gonna be in the wicker man. <laughs> Have you
Have you seen Elderman Coonan? Oh, that unholy visage startled me. It's past sundown, so Coonan has retired to the church for prayer. I have business with him. Even if you have business with him, it will have to wait until the morning. Locked himself in. Only Geva has the key. Would Geva let me in? She's been instructed not to. Not that I can see her following a task so simple. Girl'd forget her own head if it weren't attached. Thank you for your help. I will speak with Kunan tomorrow. The key is held by someone named Geva. Must find I would know more about you, Gwyneth. You're a... Mother says... And your fa- Well, it's not to be spoken of. But, I was born from the union of my mother, with the Horned King of the Forest, Genunos. You are close with- She's like a big sister. But it's not like I'm going to get to see her much anymore. I should- The keys help me. Gather. I must find her. Have you seen Kunan? Hey, it's the Mary Lewis. On so and night. Oh. The man tries to rhyme with <laughs> many thanks. Soon, guide me. Seen Kuna. <laughs> I'm looking right. Actually, if you're headed that way, this crate needs to be. Of course. Badger mask, same as me. Should come running when she sees you. Best of luck. Gather's waiting for this delivery to the church. That's my way in. Right, gotta keep my eye. Ah, the crate! Yes, yes, come this way. Good you came by. Sarah was supposed to drop it off ages ago. Snake tongue. Hey, for <laughs> have you have you been enjoying the festivities? We're done with this shadow play. Tefter's safe, and I know of your plan to sacrifice him in your stead. You think I mean to escape the flames? I go to the Wicker Man gladly, but I will not leave Glowerchester in the hands of the Christian Zealot. Then what? Leave your people without a leader and an angry church ready with holy fire. They won't be without a leader. Modron will sit upon the Horn's throne. Are you telling me that Modron lied? Ha! <laughs> We've turned you in circles like a dog, haven't we? Modron was the architect of Tevder's murder, Eivor. 
all to take control of Gloucestershire for herself. It would be a hard grasp to hold, surrounded by Christians on all sides. There was no other way. She had a vision. Tevder framed by flames and burning. Everything we created together. Everything... you and Mother... then... Gwyneth? A man must get his house in order before his death. Feather his nest for his children. You and the witch? This was the plan. To make me dance your merry tune, so you could build a legacy for your daughter. I always desired Modron. So when she asked me to take the part in a fertility ritual, of course I agreed. Our union conceived not only Gwenive, but a united Gloucestershire. One that Tevder would stamp out. This is where you fail, Kunan. Tevder is a changed man. He straddles the same line as you. Tevder? The boy has the head of a mule. You taught him reason? Not just I. The kindness of bandits and strange Britons. He embraces Christ and Chernanos alike. Shit. Prophecy is a strange web, is it not? Tevder's reformation just needed a kidnapping and a dedicated Dane. Eivor, Muldren will have taken Tevder to her forest temple. If you make haste, you might be able to stay her blade. I have much to attend to here, otherwise I'd lead you myself. Go now. <laughs> Unless you plan on killing me first. You are already a dead man. I will not make your people suffer for your actions. Thank you, Eivor. Your mercy will be rewarded, I'm sure.
slivering away. Over there! It's always me against the dirty jobs. Chanting. It's faint, but I recognize Mordran's voice.
see now. Something is not right. in blood, death and birth. Turn this man from beast to earth. Madron, stay your blade. Die at my hand. I should have known Kunon wouldn't have it in him to quarter you for the dogs. It's a cold bitch who throws her lover to the wolves for her own crimes. You understand so little. No matter. Let me enlighten you with the fury of the gods! Gloucestershire in the hands of that Christian, and for what? Your name and some trade routes? Do you doubt the power of your guards to sway the mind of a man? Teftor is no longer the seller you believe him to be. A man will lie to save his skin. When you are gone, he'll gut me and burn my people. The gods showed me this. Kunan spoke of your vision. The Nordnir spin their fatal threats. But without your plan, his heart would remain unchanged. Then I have no regrets. But I had a vision of you as well. One of a path that twists like the river owls. The seer's spinnings twist limb and word alike. Prophecy is a river, and we are powerless to fight its clutches. She was fighting to protect her people. But she ground your name to dust. I spared Kunan. Say your goodbyes. And keep out of my sight, witch. Mother? What is this? Is this... 
Are we in hell? No. We are in England. How are you feeling? I feel well. <coughs> but it's a little fragrant in here, is it not? You will live to be Elderman yet, Tefter. Despite the many attempts on your life. Attempts? Untimely death? God's blood! You're safe. And the ceremony will proceed in Gloucester. Your wounds should heal by the next moon. If you get some rest. Then you have my thanks, Mother Modrin. Lovely woman. Utterly terrifying, though. Let's return with haste. This cave is a place of nightmares. I have returned. It's good to see a face I trust. Even your frightful mug. I thought this could be your shared saga. But it is time to leave. We have spent not but a drink together. Worry not, Eivor. You and I have many tales to tell yet. And our names ring out clear and with honor. Yeah, a tale. A tale of Gloucester. Beautiful land, full of damned fools. Ha! I will drink to that. You have my thanks. Anything for you, old friend. Then let us say our farewells to this wicker king, and then be on our way home. Yes. Ranvi will be eager to meet Bridget. Bridget and Gunnar have already gone ahead. I should join them. <laughs> We first met at Simkin's Wicker Man Ascension. I was besotted with you at a glance. So long ago. Some poetic symmetry after twenty years' prosperity. Grant. Please don't do it! We can find something else! Someone else! Peace, dear heart. I will join the dirt that grows the trees and the barley, my body feeding the gods, worms, and even you. So I will be here. And a long, long time from now, when you're old and wrinkled like an apple, you will see me again. Father. I thought I could be ready.
It is time. Then this is yours. This is your path, Tifter. No thorns and briars could keep you from it. And you, Eivor, friend of Gloucestershire, you have lived up to your reputation. I know you owe me less than nothing, but please, take care of them. I take no pleasure in the suffering of others. You would know this if you had given me a chance. Twenty years I have been your elderman. Now these old bones are ready for my last duty. I have worked alongside you, clearing fields, brewing drink, births, and deaths. All growing and learning. The wicker man is ready, O oh king. Your altar awaits. I am honored to be your harvest king. With this flame set, may our crops be plentiful and our winters brief. Despite it all, he has the ending he prayed for. Straight to the mouths of hungry gods. Eivor, the honor is yours. Praise the Harvest King! Bloody pagans! Now it seems the wind calls me back to Rantvi. Let's tell her the good news.
Great. I can hardly begin to describe what happened in Gloucestershire. I think you will learn soon enough. But we are allied with them. Yes. For all our pains. Uber Ragnarsson has come. He claims to have some business with you. Uber Ragnarsson, you are a long way from your king's side. Eivor. Yes, a long stroll through the hills and fields of Mercia. Also, I could thank you. Thank me? For sending my brother to his just reward. In spite of the harm he caused you and everyone around you, I could not keep him in line in this life. But I have no doubt the old father will put him to good use in the next. A darkness followed your brother. One I am not sure he understood. But as you say, he is now where he belongs. He is. And as a show of my thanks, I came to offer you a gift. A token of my respect. Thank you. Put it to good use, Wolf Kist. And may we meet again soon. On a battlefield, if the fates are kind. Sigurd wishes to speak with you. Something happened. Eivor, the time has come. Our time. Our time for what? My final glory awaits. Your final glory? I fear to ask what that means. Do I not speak plainly? My time in Midgard is done. I wish now to see the hall of my ancestors. If you wish to die, it will not be by my hand. I do not speak of death, Eivor. I speak of life. Life and glory everlasting. I know I've been in a fog these last few weeks. I know I speak words you don't fully understand. But I only ask you trust me once more. On my final voyage, back to Norway, to wish my father farewell, and achieve my destiny. Back to Norway? I need to discuss this with Ranvi. If you must. I will await your answer down by the docks. Do not keep me waiting. Nice to see you. I want to see the Alliance map. It may be time to return to Norway. Sigurd is eager to see his father and... ...and beyond that, I do not know. I have heard ill news about Styrbjorn in the past year. If you go, go with care. We will leave now, and return as soon as we are able. Good. And be safe. Both of you.